Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts, right here at the Freedom Stain Contemplating Degrito Gate, and all those poor leaves lost to the communist spy balloon. What a tragedy, folks. In a moment of silence. In other news today, little Greta Thunberg deleted a post on Twitter from uh, 2018, I believe, that said the world was going to end in 2023. Hmm. She pulled an Al Gore. I cannot stand that little troll woman from Sweden. She's the most obnoxious person. And probably one of the most used memes on the internet. So how dare you? I mean, like I said, you know, weaponizing shit posting and making it real. You know, I can't help but wonder about shit posting in history. But I've actually been bored enough on a Sunday, one Sunday, not this one. I've been busy. To actually look this up, ancient Romans were writing filthy words and stuff on the wall, like, you know, of a bar, let's say, right? Roman graffiti, that's a thing. And some of them are quite saucy. Like one man had said, you know, I fucked your wife here type of thing. And the other guy wrote under it, it's like, yeah, well, I piss here all the time, so joke's on you, you know, or whatever. And, uh... It's kind of funny. Remember prank telephone calls, right? When there was a landline and there was no such thing as caller ID? I'm old enough, I can actually remember that. You know, and that kind of fun's going to be lost to an entire generation, you know. The age of cell phones kind of wrecked that. Chain letters were a thing, right? People would send those around saying, oh, if you don't send this to seven people, you know, you're going you're gonna to have bad luck or whatever. And so people would go and actually buy into this shit, and it was propagated, right? You know, another fun thing from history that way is uh, the meme, right? The meme. How did the meme start? Just some bored guy on the internet shitposting. Same for GIFs. Right? On Discord, if you, if you know what those are. The amount of time people spend screwing off every day is astronomical. Now, I admit, I'm a serial shit poster, and, you know, it makes it fun. But the level that this has reached for most people now, post coof has just like blown the glass ceiling off the building. People will start arguments online. <laughs> it's no end of excitement and fun, right? Or, uh, you know. Yeah, another fun thing from history, right? And I think Tom Green told a joke about this, right? You know, all these teachers having sex with kids or whatever, but back in the day there was such a thing called hot teacher, right? And every once in a while you'd read in the newspaper, yes, those were a thing, that uh, one got busted, right? And you have to wonder, it's like, hmm, 30-year-old woman humping a 17-year-old kid, and somebody told, right? You know, you know it's sure as hell it wasn't the kid doing it. He was probably having the time of his fucking life. I know I sure fucking would have at 17. But back in the age when you had to take a Polaroid of your junk and then mail it in an envelope to somebody to have naughty phone time fun, right? You know, it took more effort than it does now. Nowadays, you just point camera down and snap a pic of the old trouser snake and send it to somebody's inbox or their text or put it online or whatever the fuck you do with it. I don't know. What's the point of all this? The point is we as human beings spend so much time screwing around every day while we're doing our daily duties that it makes life fun. You know, some of us could be more productive, sure, but at the end of the day, you know, there's only so prepared we can be, and there's only so much shit we can get done. A lot of lives hurry up and wait. And as always, if you don't like what I have to say about snapping pictures of our sausage and sending it through the mail back in 1974, you know, you can eat my shorts and have a fantastic day.